First of all, I want to say that I count it an honor and a privilege to have received a ranch from anyone that has given me a ranch. I am so thankful. I am so grateful for it. But I just want to say that there are more important things to me and for me. I'm especially talking to the household of faith, especially to those that are in authority. You know, we're always talking about, you know, we have to um, consider our motive, intentions of why we do what we do, especially the, to those that are in authority. And also, we need to consider why we get with the people that we get. Do we get with them for the right reason? Did God tell us to get with those people? Are we doing it leaning to our own understanding because we feel like, well, if I get with this person because they got all the many followers, they can help they can help me to get some followers also. Or did God tell you to get with those people? You know, the word of God tells us that in all our ways to acknowledge him and he will direct our path. But it seems to be a lot of times we are directing our own path and it's not God. Sometimes we think we know something about a person and we really don't know the full story, but we come in on the tail end of the story and we just assume certain things about a person that's not true instead of going to God and finding out what he has to say, especially to those that are in authority. We cannot outsmart God. This is especially for those that are in authority. If you have given me a ranch and you want to take it by all well and good, I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. I will not. I am not going to hold it against you because I am perfectly fine with or without it because that's not who I am and that's not what I am all about. I'm all about Jesus Christ and him crucified. So we need to consider our own intentions, motives, because you cannot outslit God. No way, no how.